What's up guys, welcome back to Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be working on my brother's 328. So finally, finally guys, we did get a fender that's gonna be fixing all this ugliness and we're also gonna be replacing the side skirt. We got some M3 style side skirts um, that's gonna go along with the front bumper and the rear bumper. So this thing should pretty much aesthetically look pretty pleasing. And then hopefully if everything's all set in stone, we're gonna try to fix the lights on the dash and probably go try to get the braking light done. We do need to also replace a couple bulbs, but that is the goal of today's video. Hopefully we can knock all those out. There is a random Tesla right there. My dad kind of copped a new car, he sold the Mercedes. So for everyone that kept on telling him to sell his Mercedes, um, he did it. He finally did it. So yeah, that's the result. I mean, I think it's a pretty good cop. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the build. Just like that, guys, so we finally got this fender off. So before we actually uh, take this off as well, we're just gonna go ahead and put on the new fender. We'll take off the side skirts in a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm just really hoping we can line up the fender with this door as much as possible. That is the goal. If not, worse comes to worse, there's something wrong with this door because for some reason, we replace the other door, the gaps were perfect. This door is just creating this really weird like spaced gap. So uh, again, we'll keep messing with this door later, but meantime, let's go ahead and install the new fender uh, so we don't keep rubbing against the fender. Because as you can see, this door is just getting kind of beat with the bad fender. We just got the fender in here. We lined it up pretty good. It does have still a slightly bigger gap. We'll probably fix that in a little bit. The meantime is we're trying to get everything done and probably hit smog, breaking light. It is Saturday, so everything closes in about an hour and a half. So we're just trying to wipe as much things as possible, slap it on the car, and we'll realign everything probably down the road. Uh, but as for this door and this fender, it's not too shabby. Um, we did get the light back on, then we did connect it, so it should pass there as well. We'll have to test that out in a little bit. But as for the side screw, let's go ahead and pop it all out. There's a couple of screws in the bottom. It shouldn't be too hard to take off. And uh, the ones from Keys Motorsports are like OEM fitment, so it should be able to slap it on pretty easily so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it Guys, both side skirts are on there. Now that the whole body kit's pretty much coming together, this set came out a whole lot better. So we're actually readjusting the other side. Uh, the other side had mostly damage. So yeah, we're just readjusting the other side. This side is looking so, so, so good. The fitment is A1. At this point, guys, we're gonna go ahead and clean up everything. Um, I think the only thing we're missing right now for breaking light, these bulbs right here. These bulbs are all dead. I actually got some from Pick and Pull uh, the other day. So we're gonna go ahead and just replace those bulbs. Again, I plan on replacing the trunk. We actually get the new tail lights in. We did order some new tail lights, but in the meantime, the past breaking light, let's just go ahead and replace these bulbs um, and uh, hopefully head out and go to smog and do all that good stuff. So if you put this foot on the brakes, the outer ones light up, so I'm assuming the inner ones don't light up. Put the car in reverse real quick. So the top two bulbs are also working. That also, the third brake light is working. So it looks like the reverse, all those are working. And if he puts it in drive real quick, just go between the modes real quick. Yep, so finally those are all lighting up. So, so far so good, I think everything is good. I think that's how everything's supposed to be working. So we still do have the TPMS. I think we have to reset that while we're driving, but the main two right now, if I go ahead and put down the e-brake, is uh, the brake light and the traction control light. So this could be because of the clock spray. Uh, we did went ahead and get a new clock spring. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take apart all this stuff, disconnect the battery, and uh, replace that clock spring. So this is the clock spring ended up picking off of eBay. I think we got this for like $40. So uh, it already looks like it is already centered. I'm hoping it is already pre-centered. But at this point, guys, the battery is disconnected. Let's just go ahead and uh, remove the airbag, remove the steering wheel. It shouldn't be too hard.
Alrighty guys, so the things we actually did today is replace the actual full clock spring, put M3 side skirts on both sides and we replaced the fender. So everything's looking pretty good. Also, we actually threw in some bulbs in the rear tail light as well and the bulbs are actually working now, which is a huge plus. This car is coming together. Um, in terms of the lights on the dash, I did replace the clock spring, but the lights are still there. So I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna try to recalibrate it. I'm gonna go try to recalibrate the other way. But if that doesn't work, I might need to actually have that coated. So we'll have to see about that. And we have a TPMS light, which I think we'll clear once we actually start driving this thing more. Other than that, it's just the angle sensor and the TPMS. And this thing should have hopefully no lights on the dash, which I'm super hyped about. Like, look at that interior. I cannot wait till we get this whole thing wrapped up, bro. It's gonna look so good. Two hours later. Weird sequence to the vlog, guys. We just sold the front bumper to one of you guys. Actually, we sold the front bumper, rear bumper, and side skirts for 60 bucks. It wasn't about the money, really. I mean, I just sold the bumper for a few of the little parts. But yeah, front bumper, rear bumper, and side skirts for 60 bucks is a really good deal. But it's not about that. The guy I actually ended up selling to, and again, this is a weird sequence to the vlog, was the first person that actually picked up my first build. So my first build is my BMW 330i. I know it's really random, but I actually showed up. He drove four hours to pick up some other parts, and he picked up my bumpers. And uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just really happy happy to see him. He looks like he's doing really good. He's still watching the videos. Um, he actually builds cars himself now, which is really, really, really cool. And uh, I know when I first bought that car, I knew nothing about BMWs. When he first bought my car, he knew nothing about BMWs. And now we're both very experienced. Not very experienced, but more experienced than we were, um, you know, two, three years ago when he actually bought the car. And him actually buying that car from me gave me more opportunities to buy new builds on the channel. So yeah, it was very nice seeing him. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just always happy when I get to see some of you guys end up buying my cars. You guys are happy with those cars because honestly, I build these cars. I don't get to truly enjoy Enjoy them. When you guys get to truly enjoy them, that really does mean the world. And actually, he does. He actually has some plans for that 330i um, on making way more power, which is super crazy. But yeah, guys. Without further ado, I just realized we did have to remove the battery to replace the clock spring. So uh, I mean, guys, oh my god, this car is really looking good. It's really coming together. It has a couple of things on this door. Actually, my boy Arlon actually has another door, so he might be hooking us up with that door possibly, and that will fix all that stuff. But yeah, the M side skirts. Look at the just the curves it's throwing. Once we actually get this thing fully cleaned up, we're gonna be wrapping it, possibly getting some new wheels on. On it so that's gonna be an idea we're gonna see how the, the budget is we're gonna see how uh, what we have planned for this exactly but yeah we do need to drive the car to put some miles on it now because I don't think it's gonna pass smog just yet it needs to get some miles it needs to be driven once it's ready for smog we'll do braking light we'll do smog and then hopefully get this thing registered because that's the plan because once this thing's registered my brother will be able to drive it anywhere he wants he can get food he can go do his thing school did start up but it is online for another semester so he is lucky in that aspect but uh yeah he's gonna really truly enjoy this car and it's definitely gonna stay on the channel we do have a bunch of carbon fiber stuff that is coming in for this car that's also super exciting. So it's never gonna be the end to this. We're gonna be building this. We're gonna be building my wife's car. So I'm super happy. My brother and my wife, they also got BMWs. And then also for myself, like I told you guys, I got a build for myself, another build that's pretty insane. And I just cannot wait to show you guys, honestly. It's underneath that cover right there. And I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this car. I'm just kind of teasing you guys. Same way I did with the wrap. And the wrap, I'm gonna be announcing it hopefully in the next video. So stay tuned, guys. But without further ado, let's go ahead and go on this first drive of this 328. Go down to Taco Bell or something, get some food, go on my first drive with my brother, and just, you know, enjoy it. Because it's been been also a while since I drove with my brother. Wish us luck and hopefully the car is gravy in the Navy. Airbag light just came on, but hopefully we don't see any smoke coming out of the hood because there's actually a valve cover leak. And uh, hopefully this car, uh, you know, takes good care of us because we took very good care of it. So again, first drive. Oh my God, I thought you put it in drive and it went in reverse, bro. I was like, I was like, guys, that would be absolutely a nightmare. Yeah, and also needs a lot of detail. And we'll detail this car when the time comes. You just gotta make sure the rest of it's good to go. That was the alignment. It's okay. It's it's it's, it's not, not bad, bad, right? It's not bad. That's good. That's good. I mean, like, we don't have to do an alignment, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we probably should, so your tires can last longer. But I mean, I mean but I mean, it's drivable, so that's good. Also, guys, the airbag light went away and then came back. That's kind of weird. I wonder what that is. I don't know. Is it a seatbelt you think or? I don't know, what the heck? Because it literally went away and it came back. Guys, the airbag light is officially gone again. Uh, that's a little weird. We're gonna have to run the codes later, but uh. 10 seconds is gonna come back on. Oh, there you go. What <laughs> is that, bro? What is going on? Why is that? That's the first time, huh? First time, man. That's so weird, bro. I don't know if it has something to do with the airbag, guys, but we're gonna have to look into that. <laughs> guys, those side skirts look so good. Make sure you check out that link down below from Keys Motorsports. in the car honestly it was not bad we ended up getting with some g2 sugar drinks uh these actually low sugar drinks because we don't want the sugar you know what i'm saying uh but yeah any of those um, in terms of the cluster right now, now we're getting even more lights. The airbag light comes on and off. And this is our first drive, so I'm not really too sure if that's how it was before the clock spring or after the clock spring, but I'm gonna have to run the codes. I don't, I, unfortunately, I don't have my skinner on me today right now, but um, I mean, why are we in the car right we're now, gonna, bro? We're pushing overdrive, bro. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the car so far has been driving fine. I don't see any smoke. 
Uh, no overheating issues, anything like that, right? So, so far, so good. In terms of the AC, the AC actually works. The heated seats actually works as well. Um, does the radio work at all? Or like, how's the speakers? Yep. Well, the speakers work. That's a giant plug. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and go home. Hopefully, you're gonna have no more issues with the car. And then in terms of all the lights on the dash, we're probably gonna have to focus that on a whole other video because uh, we got a lot of them. And yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. At this point, guys, hopefully in the next video, we're gonna be wrapping the car. My boy Alon's gonna be also helping us, and my brother's gonna be helping us. So hopefully, we're gonna be able to knock out this wrap pretty quickly. We got a bunch of carbon fiber stuff coming in the way. We got some new tail lights coming in the way. So this build is gonna be so exciting. Like, I'm honestly super excited for it. I hope you guys are too, honestly, because it's kind of like one of those cheaper cars that are gonna be transformed, making it look absolutely insane. I know, like, right now, it's not looking the best after a couple of videos, but we'll be kind of like fixing all the little things. So when we wrap it all, it's gonna look absolutely insane. So hopefully, you guys, in the next video, we're gonna be wrapping. So make sure to smash that like button if you guys want me to upload that video as soon as possible and guess what color we ended up choosing down below it is from cheetah wraps so that should give you guys a hint and it is one of the brighter colors that's another hint without further ado i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.